Welcome back to Word 2016, Module 4. We're working on formatting documents and we're working on page Word 86 and we're down at Step 7. So we've just closed the header and footer and we're going to use, we're going to press Home and Control keys to move back to the top of our document. We're going to position the pointer over the head or text in the at the top of page one and then double click. So this is the header text and we double click to get back in the header. We're going to in the design tab for the header and footer tools. We're going to choose different first page. We're going to select it. And then we're going to close the header and footer. And you can do this by using the button or clicking out and double clicking in the text. And you notice that the header and footer disappeared from the first page. But we don't really need the header and footer in the first page because we have this large header on the front on the first page, but the header information is on page two and it's on my page three and four. So that's very good. So we're going to save our document and we're going to move on to the next page and we're going to start working at the top of page Word 88. Okay, we're going to scroll until um, the heading preventive options is at the top of our document. So we're going to find, okay, so here's preventive options, and we're going to put this at the top of our document. And we're going to select the heading preventive options, and so we're going to select the entire header. And we also need to get these two paragraph marks just beneath it, so let's make sure we get all of this in here. There we go, we have all of those selected. So we want that uh, header and those two paragraph marks selected. And then we're going to take and move to the layout tab. And we're going to look at the columns. And then we're going to click the one click so we're going to make one page now and then watch what it does. Okay, so it actually moves that down to the bottom when we have a page break that allows us to have one page across the bottom and we're going to take advantage of that. Okay, we need to, um, we're working on page 88 and we need to, we're down to pay, uh, step three and we're going to place our pointer in front of the first paragraph mark and we're going to come over to the insert tab we're going to insert a table so we're going to choose this option to insert a table and we want to have five columns and we want to have six rows so five columns and six rows we want to make sure that fixed column width is also selected and we're going to say OK We're going to click the Home tab and we're going to turn off the Show Hide. Okay, so that looks a lot neater and we can more easily uh, watch what we're doing with that. Okay, now we want to take a look at what we need to do for Step 5 and look across to the opposite page and we're going to look at Figure 4-12. So what it's going to do is it's going to ask us to tab across and enter this information so that um, our table includes information that is similar, that is like the information in figure 4-12 on page Word 89. After you tab and type in the information from figure 4-12, uh, one, one of the things you will have to add is going to be the bullet we're going to use the 
check mark style so we want to make sure we so we want to add one in here and we'll come up and add the check mark style once you use it one time it'll be used uh, you it will be set up in there as being the frequently used and you don't even have to open it up to select it you can just use the bullet icon um, under the paragraph group and you notice it'll automatically add that okay okay we're down at step eight and you notice with the table we do have an extra tool some extra tools and we have a <clears throat> extra tab and we have design and layout within that table tools tab and we want to choose the layout tab in that and we want to choose the um, when the table selected choose the auto fit button so we're going to um, auto fit the contents we're going to auto fit the we're going to choose auto fit button and choose the auto fit window okay we're going to choose the select button on the table group so that's over at your left and we're going to select the table and we're going to click the align center and that's, that button is over in the alignment group we're going to click disease in the table and select button again and select the column we're going to align center we're going to use align center left for that column and we're going to deselect the column and we're going to click the table tools design tab and we're going to select the more button in the table styles so here's your table styles and this is a more button and you'll see that throughout the ribbon in several places but this is a more button and we're going to move down and we're going to find the list table three accent five style so we're going to scroll down these are your list tables so you notice the kind of group in a plain grid and then here's your list tables we want list table three and we want accent five that's this is the one we want list table three accent five okay and then we want to save our work we're now moving to page word 90 up at the top step one we're going to use control home to move back to the top of the document going to place the insertion point at the end of the first body paragraph in the second column of text after resort we're going to click and then we're going to click the reference tab and, and then click the insert footnote button We're going to type behavior is critical factor for example going outdoors in malaria endemic area could result in becoming infected so that's step two we're going to type that in okay so we've typed that in and so let's look at the format that that takes so it stays within a column so next we want to move up to the end of the second column after the text after health so here's here we are and we're going to add insert another footnote and this time it's going to be it is best to consult a travel medicine medicine specialist so we're going to insert another footnote 
Okay, we've got the second footnote um, added, and now we're going to scroll down until the bottom half of page three appears on our document window, and we're going to look at the end of medications taken on regular basis at home, and we're going to insert another footnote. All medications should be stored in carry-on luggage. So we're going to find page three and notice that the I'm able to keep up with that. So I'm in page three now, and so we're going to look for. So here we are. We're at medications taken on a regular basis at home. We're going to place our pointer behind home, and we're going to add another footnote. And note this is number three. Next, we're going to add um, a footnote behind the word sunscreen. It's going to be number four. And then we're going to place an insertion point after disposable gloves. We're going to insert. Now, notice that this is going to uh, change. So this is going to become the new three, and um, the items in, that are footnotes are renumbered. So we're going to type that one in. Okay, we're going to add one more, um, an insertion point behind tweezers. And we're going to insert a footnote here. And that's going to be to pack these items in checked luggage. Okay, we're going to use the control home key now. And we're going to, in the reference and footnote um, reference tab, footnote group, we're going to um, scroll through these footnotes by using the next footnote because we're actually going to find one of these footnotes and we're going to delete it. So this is we're going to show you the proper way to delete a footnote. So we're going to go next. And then two more times. So we're right here, and we're so this is where we are. We're right here beside disposable gloves, and we're at the third footnote. So we're going to press delete, which gets rid of the number, and then we're going to press delete again, which gets rid of the footnote. So you notice that. The footnotes again get renumbered. Okay, so we've deleted the one we wanted to delete. We're going to go use the control key and the home key to move back up to the top. We're going to save our changes. Make sure you check out the figures on the opposite page and then move over to page Word 92. And we're going to now insert some citations and we're going to learn a little bit about. Um, some tools that will help you better write a paper. We'll have more on that in the next video.